Today we have a 2014 Nissan Armada. We'll be replacing the heater control valve as there's no heat inside the vehicle. Um, so it's located right here. Literally just walk in the engine bay. You'll see it right here. The only thing I've done different uh, is remove the engine cover here. Two number 10 bolts, pulled it up. Um, there normally should be a nut right here. Apparently we went missing. Um, yeah, so pretty much this is very simple. Uh, go ahead and unplug it like I did here. Take off a little plastic clip to get this off of here. And then from there, once we get all this going, we're gonna remove that clamp right there that goes to the heat core on the left side. And just so you know, as you can see, there's an arrow that goes one way from the engine to the heater core. Um, and then there is another clamp right back there we follow that we also have to get. Uh, you could use some pliers to get it. I also just have a hose clamp removal tool uh, that I use. So basically what we're gonna do here is since I already have this one plugged, I'm just gonna take it off that little piece of plastic to get the wire off. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove that clamp there. Oops, my light went out. Uh, and then that clamp over there and just pull it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that going. Okay, also with my hose clamp tool here, uh, basically just squeeze the clamp back there and lifted it up. So that's not, you know, connected to the pipe anymore. Um, now with my, this pick here, it's like a hook pick. I'm just gonna go in there and just kinda go under it, lift it up and just bring it out. And then same thing with this side, a little easier since it's right in front of us. I'm just gonna squeeze it. I could probably just use a pair of pliers, that one. Honestly, you could have used pliers back there too. There's a little bit of room. Um, I just made it easier myself with the tool I have. Uh, actually, I might just go ahead and still use my tool. But pretty much, just after I move it there, we're moving it here, and we'll get ready to replace it. All right, guys, so I got it out. Um, you know, you see the heater control valve, the heater hose. It's kind of annoying because they pretty much make it to where you have to replace the whole thing. Uh, my new one is here, and they make it to where you can just replace the hoses separate from the valve. Uh, looks a little different. Connectors are the same still, so just keep that in mind. Just gotta plug it up and see pretty much what happens when you uh, plug it up. Uh, there's not really a set power and ground, it alternates. So like power will go, say example, these two pins left and right, power will go on the left side to open, and then power will go on the right side to close it. Basically, the interchange between power and ground. It's just a circuit that goes to the computer. Anyways, um, one thing I did have to do because uh, it was kind of a pest in the back of the hair behind the intake manifold, uh, I went ahead and just made a little slit in here to kind of expand it up a little so that when I put my pick in there I could just it literally just widen it up like that and I yanked it out this one came out pretty easy just hit the clamp and slid it out so now I'm gonna go ahead and install the new one here uh, so pretty much before I install it just make my life easier I'm gonna put a little lube inside of these so it just slides in I'm also replacing them with belt clamps uh, it's number eight so it'd be easier to tighten in there so using the uh, factory clamps usually these don't hold as well uh, with the aftermarket hoses so Let's go ahead and get this installed and we're pretty much done. All right, guys, so I have it installed now. I went ahead and just grabbed a random nut I had and just so I can uh, bolt it up to here. I uh, used the belt clamps to get my uh, hoses on instead of using these clamps that came, or this one came with this, but the ones that came factory with the other heater hose uh, looked like a little too big. So um, pretty much all we're, we're done. Uh, if you lost a lot of coolant, I didn't lose much, but it's good to just go ahead and top it all off. Uh, obviously top off the radiator and then go with the uh, expansion tank here, which looks like someone else filled already. Um, another thing is Nissan likes to try to act like they're fancy and be like, oh, we use Nissan blue long light, whatever nonsense it is. But nothing special about them. They just use Asian blue. Pretty much works on a lot of, I think Honda also takes it. So they're not, they're, they're not special. They suck actually. Anyways, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, more videos to come.